everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to stop all outgoing connections in Windows Firewall. So, generally speaking, I would not recommend doing this um, unless there's a good reason, like you want to just completely disconnect your device from the internet temporarily, and perhaps you don't want to disconnect your router or whatnot. You just want to isolate your computer from the rest of your network. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So just keep in mind, your browsers aren't going to work. You're not going to get any updates or anything. It's just going to completely shut everything down. So just keep that in mind. So anyway, we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Windows Defender Firewall. Best match, should come back a Windows Defender Firewall listed right above Control Panel. Let's go ahead and left click on that. Select Advanced Settings on the left side. Select Windows Defender Firewall Properties. So you have different tabs here. So the domain profile if you're attached to a domain. The private tab if it's connected to a private network like your home or office network. And then you also have a public profile here. So if you're connected to some sort of Wi-Fi hotspot out and about. So just keep that in mind. It's going to depend on which one you are trying to adjust here. Most people, probably it's going to be the private profile, but you can do public as well, just in the event that you need to do that. And if you know you're in a domain, you can select that one as well. But we're going to go ahead and just select the private profile here. And for outbound connections, we're going to go ahead and click the drop down and select the block. Then you're going to select apply and OK. You can do that for the other ones as well. It doesn't do any harm in blocking the domain and public as well, or any combination of the three. But once you're done with that, the way you turn it back on is you would just go back to Windows Defender Firewall Properties once again. Go back to the tabs that you modified, and then click the drop down, and then set it back to the default value, which should be allow. So it's pretty straightforward. If you accidentally messed up, you could easily just see, oh, it says allow default, and you can see block is not default. And that was be the opposite for inbound connection so you can see how that works here too. So pretty straightforward process guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.